On my channel I've spoken quite a lot about errors, inconsistencies and oddities within the plot of episodes of Peep Show, and today I thought I'd do the same but rather focusing more on the actual production of the show. The camera work, editing, you know, things like that. These things range from how the hell did that make it into the final cut, that looks awful, to I am probably the only person to have ever even noticed this and everything in between. But before I dive into specifics, I thought I'd just mention that obviously, production wise, Peep Show is a lot different to most other shows, in that it's filmed with this unique POV style. Which on the one hand, former director Tristan Shapiro says makes directing easy because you always know where the camera needs to be. It's probably the easiest show I've ever had to direct in my life. But for almost everyone else involved, it probably makes their jobs a lot harder. Actors are mostly staring into a camera lens rather than looking at each other. Continuity staff and editors probably have a horrible time making sure they're combining all these shots properly. The sound team are having to juggle so much different audio. Pickup shots will be difficult because some scenes rely on random background extras to have the POV work properly. I hate filming. <laughs> Filming's rubbish. Basically, there are a whole lot of variables involved here, and so there's a lot that can go wrong. But I do have to say, despite all that, there really aren't too many major standout technical errors in Peep Show. It's actually quite incredible in a way, and so many of the things that I do have to point out are pretty minor and inconsequential, but I know that there are other weirdos out there like me that enjoy knowing all the minutiae of the show, so I've included them anyway. Right. <laughs> Here's a clip from Series 9, Episode 2, Gregory's Beard. Voltages are wrong here. Can I, uh, who the f- Did you catch the error there? Probably not. Let's play it again, but this time make sure to pay attention to Mark's laptop in the background. Voltages are wrong here. Can I, uh, who the f- Yep. The green screen used for Mark's laptop display is visible. His laptop plays a big role in this episode, so it's featured in a lot of shots where they obviously chroma key the screen out. But in all the other ones where it's in the background but not focused on, the screen is facing away from the camera. However here, presumably because Gregory was blocking it initially, they didn't catch this one from being visible. Next up, something else that involves a good old green screen. As avid viewers are probably aware, Peep Show likes to show off its POV style by using the occasional mirror shot, that being a shot of a character looking directly into a mirror, something that would obviously be impossible to achieve with the camera rig used to record the show. This is done to varying degrees of success throughout the show, but in series 1 it's definitely done at its worst. Here's an example from On The Pull. Yeah, that looks bad, really bad. This is probably the worst shot in the entire show for numerous different reasons. For a start, it just looks straight up bad. It's janky and marks perspective changes, which goes against the entire point of the shot. But think about the shot for a second. In this half, what are we seeing? Well, Mark looking into a mirror, obviously. He's seeing his reflection back. Okay, makes sense. But then what exactly happens here then? He is also looking into the mirror here, but now it's a tiny close-up of his head, as seen in the cupboard door's mirror. This means that the first half of this clip is actually from the mirror's perspective, judging by how wide we can see, which makes absolutely no sense with how the show works, given that both of these shots are supposed to be from Mark's perspective, yet are framed completely differently. He couldn't be looking at himself other than by looking in a mirror, so why is this shot of him looking in a mirror so different from this shot of him looking in a mirror? So as you can see, this bit is quite messy, but it gets even worse. Mark lifts his left arm to open the cupboard door, but cut to the other shot, and now he's opened it with his right arm. Not good all around, but hey, at least it's funny to look back on. And as I said before, the show does lots of these mirror shots, most of which manage to look slightly weird in some way or another, but this one is by far the least well done. The other mistake they commonly make with mirrors is that our characters' movements don't match up with what we're seeing in the reflection. Jez at the start of the first episode of series 1 for example. Like why is the camera still here? His head is moving, thus the camera should be too. But in moments like this you do just have to sit back and realise that this was in a low budget TV show with a very experimental style done almost 20 years ago. Mistakes were bound to happen, and I imagine errors like this being made in the early series led to them not happening so frequently as the show went on. I don't give a shit, so screw you! But now here's a clip from Series 4's Holiday, one of the fan favourite episodes. I do if I lost her! Mommy! Well, you're very close to finding out. Mommy! Did you see the quirk here? This one's interesting. Nobody by the red car, cut back to Jez, then there's suddenly two guys by the red car. Interesting. As for why this happens exactly, I do have a theory. 
The final moment of the scene is Jez awkwardly shouting out Mummy. Mummy! And for this shot, he's lingering behind Aurora. So they couldn't use her perspective as she's in front of him, and they couldn't use Jeremy's perspective because, well, we need to see him looking awkward while saying the line. Mummy! So another perspective is needed, but as has been established by the rest of the scene, there is nobody else in the car park. So for the shot to work, they just stuck two random guys by the car to make it look like they were inside the car all along, after realising they messed up by not including them earlier. It's also entirely possible that a shot was cut or edited down here that showed them getting into this position next to the car. But yeah, we don't have that shot, so it just looks weird that they appear out of nowhere. Mommy! There are some more conventional filming mistakes in the show too, like the camera being visible in the reflection in the background here, and the camera shadow going over Nancy in this shot. I'm really sorry, but um, I've got to go. But that's kind of boring. So let's move on to some weird things that happen during the editing process. This one's an interesting one. Series 6, Episode 1, Jeremy at JLB, involves JLB shutting down and Alan Johnson speeding off. But it's that speeding off that has a weird little quirk to it. Alan, Alan, where do management go? Did you see that? This clip of Johnson getting into the car is sped up. Obviously so, to the point where once you notice it, it looks ridiculous and you wonder how you never noticed this before. They probably did this because they thought that at real time, his escape looked too slow, considering the point here is that he's supposed to be fleeing before the mob of JLB workers have a chance to respond. But yeah, it looks kind of weird now that you can see it. How mad is that? Head fuck or what? Series 1 of Peep Show has a lot of weird technical quirks that aren't present in any of the other series of the show. Obviously at this point the show was still finding its feet, and thus they were in a bit more experimental with the concept of the show, leading to things like flashbacks. These stand out as probably the most noticeable differences, as some of the shots don't follow the POV rule like the rest of the show. This clip of Mark and Sophie for example, which starts with a shot from directly above them, and this one of Hans and Jez doing the bad thing, is also not from anyone's perspective. But while these do seem weird in this context of flashbacks, non-POV shots are actually not entirely uncommon, even in later series. I'm sure a lot of people are aware of this shot from Quantocking in Series 3, which the writers have joked about being from a cow's perspective. But it's really the use of effects in Series 1 that make it kind of weird. There's slow motion, fast forwarding, and artificial zooming going on here. I completely understand why these things were removed in later series, because they are kind of jarring, especially as Series 1 utilises the concept of POV much more than some later series, and so we get much more of our characters' hands and arms in shot. But they do give the first series quite a bit of charm that makes it nice on a rewatch. God, that is so fucking weird! So yeah, that was some Peep Show production errors and oddities, and I am of course aware that there are many more to be found within the show. But I'm also completely aware that some of these things are really, really small details that don't matter at all in the grand scheme of things. I still think finding bits of information like this is really interesting. Noticing brand new details and things you've seen so many times already feels kind of rewarding in a way, at least to me. And so I hope you found one or two things in this video kind of cool. So yeah, thanks for watching, and feel free to check out my Peep Show's mystery series if you haven't, as I cover errors, unanswered questions, and just generally dive deep into Peep Show, which you may like if you like this video.